Hello everyone, and welcome back, once again, to Gary's Mod. And the map I'm going to be exploring today is GM Russia. Now I'm not only exploring this because so many of you have requested it, I'm exploring it because this channel is all about the feeling of creepy and comfy, and how, at least in my opinion, those two things are actually very closely related, even though you'd think they'd be at pretty much opposite ends of the emotional spectrum, they're actually very, very similar feelings to me, and it seems like a lot of you have agreed as well. This map looks like it's going to scratch that itch. I mean, look at this. We have the glow from the neon signs and the streetlights overhead bathing this whole street in orange light with shadowy gaps between them. We have tall buildings with darkened windows with just maybe one or two on. In the distance, I can hear the wind blowing through the trees and the sound of distant cop cars and occasional dogs barking. This actually reminds me a lot of after school hours during like the November, December months. I always loved that feeling. I loved when you get out of school and you're waiting, lined up for the buses. It's already kind of dark, so the streetlights are casting a glow like this, and you just know you're going to get home, take your shoes off, and just relax. That's what this feeling is so far. It's, it's the walk home. Product. Does that just say product? Well, I guess we'll see what's in here. And there was always something really weird about going to a store after hours, or at least after school, when you know it's only like 4 or 5 o'clock, but it's already dark out because it's like November or something, and you walk in and it's got this full lighting. I'm not sure if there's a name for it. Don't like it when you do that. It's almost like when you walk out of a dark movie theater and find that it's still daylight, but in reverse. It's the opposite feeling. Now, what is pretty strange to me is coming in here and finding just an empty counter. I've always I've always found, a, like, the stores open, but no one's here to be really creepy. It's like you'd come in, wait for somebody to show up, but no one does, seeing a lot of copyrighted brands here, and after a while, you'd get curious and go to investigate what's beyond that doorway. Which is, of course, exactly what I'm going to do. Whenever I'm in a situation like this, both in-game or in real life, it always reminds me of that David Lynch movie, Inland Empire, because that movie is actually a great illustration of dream logic, and one of the main ways that that manifests is you could be having the time of your life doing whatever, and you'll just notice something that looks out of place. There's an open door over there, and it's a little bit dark. Well, the person I'm looking for isn't here. Maybe I can find them over there. And that's always when things start to descend, is when you go and investigate. That's a creepy back alley if I ever saw one. What about this way? And another creepy back alley. But it looks like these buildings are actually going to be fully explorable. Now, I was told that this is actually quite a large map and that I should expect to be spending a lot of time here. I think there may even be an underground, which seems to be a staple of these types of maps. So, people have accused me of, like, faking reactions. Like, there's no way I can actually be getting this scared by a Gary's Mod map, right? And let me explain myself there. A... It's very different when you're actually there, immersed in the environment. And B, I don't fight it. Like, yeah, I probably could stoneface this a little bit more than I do. But I just don't allow myself... Or rather, I do allow myself to feel the things that I'm feeling. I don't try and fight and be tough and do all that because that wouldn't be, that wouldn't be any fun to watch. Just me walking through and going, oh, there's that, there's that, there's that. No, you watch my Let's Plays for that. When I'm exploring these Gary's Mod maps, I want to feel what the map creator wants me to feel, and I don't fight that. And sometimes when you do that, I mean, I, I really do feel that feelings build off of each other. 
and it can create a runaway effect. So yeah, sometimes maybe I do get a little bit carried away, but I think that's fine. I think that's better than not. Um, oh, so it doesn't have to have a knob. These are some custom door textures. I think that it's better to let it run away than to totally stone face it and not let yourself feel anything at all. I'm not interested in trying to look tough for YouTube. I'm interested in making videos that are entertaining and hopefully make you feel something too. And that's another thing is that, can I pick this up? I can! I can. Oh, it's a little bit difficult in VR, but I can totally pick you up. It's a lot harder to hold things in Gary's Mod than it is in other games. Do you hear that? Oh. Well, that was just a creaking, like, sound effect that plays in houses sometimes, but I... It sounded like something fell over upstairs. Well, here I go investigating. Oh, look at that. You've got brick on one side, painted plaster on the other. It's really got that feel, which I guess is present in all former Soviet states, where it's like, it's got that... You can tell that it's built with function over fashion in mind. And then there's just some fashion thrown on top as an afterthought. Uh, th these creaking sounds always creep me out on these maps, especially on uh, RP Downtown V2. There's something about this that I feel like hasn't been talked about enough. I mean, people talk about the liminal vibe, about the nonsensical architecture in the large open spaces that seemingly have no purpose. But there's another element to that that I haven't heard anybody else talk about, which is the whole idea that, okay, the lights are on, but nobody's here. Because, yes, there's abandoned spaces, but there's also places that aren't abandoned until you get there. It's almost like the Langoliers in a way. It's, uh, that's a suspicious stain. And this looks like somebody likes to sit here and just watch whatever's going down below. Or maybe the apartment across the way. But when the lights are on like this, when there's clearly infrastructure, when there's no clear apocalyptic event that caused... Get back here. I'm not going to bother. I'm going to be losing that thing every two seconds. When there's no clear event that would cause everyone to leave, that would cause a place to be abandoned, then I don't get the impression that it is abandoned. I get the impression that there's people here that don't want me to see them. It's like opening a door and seeing like a swivel chair just spinning in its space. It's like someone dipped like right the moment you arrived. It's actually kind of reminding me of Cry of Fear in a way and the atmosphere that that created because even though the architecture was very different that being uh that being Sweden instead of Russia this all gives the appearance that there's people around but there's no other signs besides the lights like yes we see the lights on in the windows but when you actually go to investigate there's no one there and when i, I feel like when things like that are the case you almost feel observed in a way. You feel like you're in a zoo, like a habitat that's been constructed for you. Because in, when, when a place is abandoned, like say in an apocalyptic scenario, it's like, okay, everyone died or went somewhere else. But here that couldn't be the case. I mean, lights don't stay on without people to keep them on. Not for long anyway. But this way, it's almost like a Truman Show type of vibe. Like somebody said, eh, let's see what he does when nobody's around. Another thing that contributes to the Truman Show vibe here is these are some very hard edges to the map. Like, it's very clear where things end. It okay, it's just an LOD thing that happens when I look away, but... I don't know if you can see that, but in VR, when I turn all the way to the left, and then I turn back, those lights load in and out. So, from my perspective, when I was walking this way, it was like I saw a light, like lights on in a building, and then when I turned to look at them, they all just went out all at once. 
like somebody over there just all a whole bunch of people all at once were like oh he's looking shut out the lights that was really creepy and it's still creepy every time i see it even though even though i know what it is by now did i just hear like a voice echo I almost intuitively took whatever sound I just heard for my voice echoing for a second until I, I stood there for a second and was like, wait a minute, I'm standing in my room playing a video game. All right, well, it's time to get the flashlight out. I always hate this when I'm going to take a peek at something. I hate the shadows that are cast by all these edges. Not only does it cast a little bit of darkness around the corner, but the way it moves under my light. I don't like going into these dark places and seeing all that movement. What is that? That is a hand. Like a mannequin hand? Hang on, what? I really don't feel comfortable crouching. I feel... I feel like something's going to come running out of that darkness, screaming. What is that? There's like an... An eye or something etched on the back? Or maybe that's just like the interior, like, skeleton. But what is this all about? Get back here. Wait, is there something else on it? No, I think that's just, like, scuff marks. I'm going to take this with me. Or at least try to. I feel like there's got to be something to do with this, right? I really don't feel safe here. There's something about, like, the really cookie-cutter design of this place that reminds me of some stuff that happened towards the end of Cry of Fear. And... Basically, whenever I see a structure like that, I pretty much expect a woman in white to come screaming out of the darkness with a knife. It's like programmed into me now. Let's get over to those... Oh, we're getting that flashlight bug again. It's very, very annoying. And watch, if I switch away from the flashlight, it leaves that light on the ground there. And if I switch it back, then it goes away. Yeah, nice parking. Playgrounds after hours lit by the dull light of the street lights. This is probably meant to be creepy, but I can't even be creeped out by this because it's just that association. Back when I was a kid, when you when you saw a playground under these circumstances, you stop flickering now. When you saw a playground under these circumstances, you knew something fun was happening. That meant you were that meant you were at school for like a boy scout meeting or something. And you and your friends were going to get to have some fun here. Hmm, there's a fire escape over there with a ladder. And it looks like if I don't find a door, that can probably get me into that, uh, factory or whatever that is. Imagine just walking through this in your day-to-day. -day. Especially at night on your way home from school or work, having to walk through this, that would terrify me. There's a school near me where one of the ways you can walk out of the school is to go through this row of, like, hedges on either side. And it's a really narrow pathway through these hedges, and even that's scary at night. This, this is even worse. But it looks like I can enter the factory or whatever this is right here, so I don't even need to climb the fire escape. Will you open? You will not? Hello? Will you open? You will not. None of the doors want to open today. I would almost think I was doing something wrong if not for the fact that several doors have opened already. I'm certain I must be able to get in here. It's got a whole 3D interior. I have to be missing something. These buildings are laid out in such a way with all these little cut-throughs between them and the flickering lights. It makes me feel like every time I glance over 
Like I'm gonna see just the edge of some shadowy figure walk past the open doorway. And of course, the same could be said of any of these open windows. Yeah, before I climb up there, I'm gonna just take a quick look around this yard and see if I can't see anything that I didn't before. Doesn't really look like it. Okay, let's give that ladder a climb. Oh, it's just the wind. Well, that was one of the friendlier ladders I've attempted to climb in this game so far. No, it still doesn't want to open. Maybe I can crouch jump through this window. Hang on, let's leave this here. Okay, now crouch jump jumping in Gary's Mod is a little bit of a chore. Let's go like this and... Well, I made it, but unfortunately that doesn't look all that useful. This room is just... Closed off. That doesn't even make any sense. How would you even get up here? And I know this isn't just meant to be, like, extra detailed dressing, because... Listen to this. There's a whole different soundscape in here. Why was I meant to come up and jump through that window? Only to hear whatever those sounds are. There doesn't appear to be any new information I can see by looking down. I'm going to jump back out this window. Getting real slender the eight pages vibes from this place. A leg. Hey, get back here. Okay, there's definitely something going on with this. Definitely. There's just mannequin parts all over the place. Main reasons why you wouldn't want to live in Russia? It's cold, it's depressing, and the rent costs an arm and a leg. Until I can figure out what the deal with these severed limbs is, I'm just going to be leaving them all on the deli counter, right? That should be fine. I have to say, this is one of the creepier bathrooms I've seen on one of these maps. Because it's kind of laid out like a hallway, like you're meant to walk over and maybe wash your face in, in the sink or something. Of course, you can't see in this mirror. And then when you turn back, you've got all these doors in front of you that could open at any time. When you approach these games, or when you approach these maps, like a horror game, you're always thinking about where the scare could come from. It sounds like there's something... <laughs> it sounds like it's running, almost. Alright, um... I've heard that there's an underground. I've heard that there's an underground, but I haven't seen any indication of how to access such a thing. Oh, this opens. Huh. Don't like that. Hope nothing happens because of that in the near future. Uh, but I guess this is just like some kind of power room. Doesn't really help me at all. That's really weird. You see over there, there's like a... There's like a window that's bricked up, but it's like flush with the wall. There's a strange thing going on here where there's kind of like very little separation between the residential and the industrial. Not just in terms of physically separated, like how that factory over there is in amongst apartments, but also just in terms of appearance. Which I guess goes hand in hand with the sort of utilitarian architecture. How everything is meant to work and nothing more. Let's see if I can't climb this. Is there any reason to come up on the rooftops? Uh, maybe not this one, but maybe I can platform to some of the other ones? 
Doesn't look like I'll make that jump. But I can try it. Nope! It looks like this was somebody's favorite hangout spot. Which just adds to the vibe that it doesn't feel like nobody's ever been here. There's hints that people have been here. I mean, heck, there's hints that people are here now, but we just can't see anything beyond those secondary pieces of evidence that people are here. So you have primary pieces of evidence, which would be seeing a person, talking to somebody, hearing a voice. But here, all we have are those shadows. All we have are lights on to indicate somebody might be in there. The sound of a distant car. But nothing to actually directly show us that someone's here. It, it's basically the population equivalent of shadow puppetry. I don't know what these would be here for. You know, there's a long-standing myth, actually, that if you drop a cinder block off the Empire State Building, it'll actually gain enough momentum on its way down to kill someone on the street below. That opened. Nope, nope, you're almost there. You're almost there. Unless this is just a basement, we may have found our underground. Ah, oh, that was a lot of searching. See, the problem with these custom doors is that I can't even tell what is and is not an openable door. Keep a no to you. That is an absurdly large light cage. A lot of ground to cover, I can see. You don't open. You do. Uh, this is... When you get this bug, it's like there's multiple lights stacked on top of each other. And you just... It's absurdly bright. I really don't like it when that happens. Stop. There's a lot of small holes and crawlways. Most of them don't look like I'll be able to fit through, but at least one I will. Now the question is why would the creator include things like that? You heard that, right? Hearing a lot of new sounds down here. And there's a lot of blind corners for the things that are making those sounds to hide behind. Not a door. Okay. There's a lot of metal clanging. <laughs> this is actually starting to get really creepy now. Yep. You come for the comfy, you stay for the creepy, or vice versa. Depends on why you're here, really. Oh, that is way too bright. That is way too bright, but there's some areas where I need it. I think the only way to actually fix this, too, is to restart the map, which I don't want to do at this point, because I went to all the trouble of gathering the arm and the leg. Okay, I guess we'll try... I guess we'll try doing a little bit of crawling. It's a very dark tunnel. I'll angle it down a little bit and just the edge of the light should be enough. Oh, that is so weird. It looks like there was a door here meant to access it, but it was bricked up. Now, why would that be the case? This goes down even farther. At least it's lit. Okay. See, this is... I, I love seeing this in maps. There's an ominous red glow. I love seeing this moment in maps where you've been exploring them for a long time. You kind of feel like you get to know it, and then you just kind of happen into this one little secret that leads you down this whole rabbit hole. And suddenly, it becomes like a whole new map.
Good timing, sound effect. You made me think I was about to get a jump scare. Maybe I can get to this around the other way. Now the question is, what is all of this meant to- <laughs> That was a deliberate scare. That was definitely a deliberate scare. Oh my god. Just that, uh, something about the way that sound was done. It really, really felt properly mixed to make it feel like something's running down this thing at me and is going to be grabbing at the bars, reaching its arm through and clawing at me in only a moment. That had to be triggered. That can't be... That was not just poor timing, or good timing as the case may be. You are bricked up. And I have walked down a hall which forces me to turn around. What am I even thinking? So there is water flowing under this map. A whole sewer system. I've had to leave behind so many potential routes. Oh, I can't go this way. This looks like something... This looks like something knocked this in. Like it used to be right here. Oh, we're exploiting a lot of my fears right now. Water, long dark hallways, angled hallways, which was one that was only recently added. And if you want to see the reason for that, go tech check out uh, GM Catacombs. Dead end over there, but a door on my left. Don't like how you're just standing straight up. I can tell there's so much more to this map. Even as I was walking here, I had to abandon so many different routes of travel. Nothing through here that I can see. Ah, oh, the flashlight is way too bright for small spaces. What is with all this? Can't seem to knock down this brick, so what is all this about? It's like somebody went to the trouble of trying to seal off large sections of the subway. Oh my god. I turned around and I thought there was somebody standing behind me. Nope, just leaves. Alright, so here's the other side. That vent. And I think if I'm to see where all this is going... Really don't like it when doors close on their own on maps. I think if I'm to see where this is going... I'm gonna have to get myself wet. I never liked this. Is this even real water right now, or is this just a texture that's flowing? I don't know if the game even... Ow. I don't know if this game even considers this water right now. Like, if I were to crouch, I don't know if it would count me as submerged... Whoa! Uh. Oh, I... Uh. That was like going over the edge of a roller coaster. Jeez. I've, I've fallen in VR before, and that can always be... a little bit stomach-dropping, but... When it happens... When it happens in combination with that flowing texture, it really simulates like a lot of movement that hit different. Not a whole lot of water flowing down lower though. I guess we're crawling again. I'm really interested in knowing what the deal is with those mannequin parts. Come on. Come on, crouching as low as I can go. Like, there's got to be something going on with those, right? Time to go. That's a blood stain. That's a blood stain, and I swear I did not just cough that up just now. There also does not appear to be any way out of here. So what is the point of this whole area? Oh no, I'm trapped! 
Well, I got out of that. No need to explain it. Now let's see if there's anything else we can see around right about this way. Let's just resolve this little matter. Huh, it's like a section of the wall has been pushed out. It's a nice little attention to detail, I suppose, but what for? Ah, this will probably be our way out. I'm super curious to know where this turns up, but before I do that, let's walk back over here another ladder. And more... Oh no, that's... We can't even go down that way. So there's nowhere to go then but up. I'm gonna go back to the first one we found because... I feel like I've been seeing something saying, okay, I'll make a note of you and come back to you later, and then I don't do it. Though I imagine these probably come up at much the same place. In fact, if I walk down here, I'll probably find the other one. Uh, if I paid mind to every noise I heard, I'd never get anything done. A lot of empty rooms this way. But here's that other ladder. Just got jump scared by the motion of the water. Now the question is, where is this all heading? That's very ominous. Just a strange blue glow from around the corner, which I can't really get a good look at. That's something that always used to creep me out in old, in old video games, because a lot of them used to do stuff like that. They'd have some strange light or shadow or sound coming from around a corner in a hallway that you couldn't access. Never failed to freak me out. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of places we've been before, which isn't doing much in the answers department. This is new, though. Just felt something load, and right at the moment it did, it played a new sound effect. What shenaniganery are we about to bear witness to? Have we been here before? I don't think so. I don't think we've been here before. Unless... No. Okay, if there's... Yeah, we. this is where we entered, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, come on. All that, just to end up right back here. Okay, from now on, I am slowly dedicated to crouching, and I'm not standing back up until I figure out where I need to go. Ow, ow, ow. What's hurting me? Oh, that steam is actually hurting me? Okay, I'll come back to that strange graffiti in a second. Is there anything over here? Doesn't seem to be. Now what's the deal with you? I don't think I've seen that graffiti before. One holding an axe and the other holding a gun. It almost looks like a representation of like some kind of feud. I could be totally wrong and that could just be a texture that's been in the game forever, but it looks custom, which uh, makes me start speculating. Here's a question I've never asked in VR before. Can I crawl? No, it doesn't seem so. It doesn't look like I can get any lower than a Gary's Mod player could crouch. So with nothing more to do, seemingly, and nowhere to go, I guess there's only a couple of loose ends that I still want to tie up. One of them is this factory. Now, I don't know why I can't seem to... Oh, now you want to open! Now you want to open! You didn't... You weren't doing that before. Okay. Guess I was all worked up for nothing. There was this whole big mystery going on in my head about why can't I access this factory. 
These look like some kind of boilers or burners. And this is the area underneath where we climbed in through the window before. Seems like we're much bigger than we were previously expecting. Oh no, I thought these would all be like hallways, but they're just kind of they're just kind of containers for these pipes. Did you hear that? Every once in a while the pipes will carry some sound that sounds a little bit like a voice. It happens a lot on these it happens a lot on maps with an underground. If I open you, it's just another hallway. Look at these roaches scattering on the ground. Is that something I've seen before in one of these maps? I feel like I would have commented on it if I had. That might be a custom asset. I don't think I've ever seen this before. Unless I just somehow didn't notice all this time. I mean, I've played quite a few of these maps. Is that really all there is to this factory? Maybe not. All right, let's duck. <laughs> glub, 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 glub. Oh, no, there's a little bit more to it. Oh, we're not done quite yet. Can I stand up here? I can, and it looks like I can probably knock out this grate. Bang, 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 bang. Why does it have so much health? All right, through we go, come on. Through we go. I said through we go, ugh. Ah, uh, yes, spoiler vision. And we just end up right back here. Whenever I feel like I'm missing something, my instinct is always to go back to things that looked just a little bit too custom, just a little bit not copy and pasted, to see if there's anything to do with them. And one of those things is I feel like it was back around here somewhere. There was a sewer grate that was part of like a big concrete structure and it had a pipe going into it. I don't remember exactly where it is, but I feel like there's something to do with that. See, look, the way light is cast onto it, you're clearly meant to notice it. And look, look at that manhole cover. It's 3D, as opposed to the other ones that have just been decals. Now the problem is, is Gary's mod going to cooperate with me being low to the ground? It does open. It does open, and I can't help but notice that... Stop closing on me. I can't help but notice that it seems like the ambient sounds cut out as soon as I opened it. Let's drop down. Can I do anything with this? No. Okay, so what about this? So we were now at the portion where I give up and no clip around the map to see if I missed anything, but who'd have thought I'd actually find something? This area that we're in right now is pretty much directly under that sewer grate. The question is, what is this for? I mean, I spun around trying to figure out like a natural entrance to this and I couldn't find one. So how you'd actually access this must be some kind of se secret. What am I on, GM Catacombs again? Okay. Every time I think this map is over, it throws something new at me. That's a bowl. Was, 
Was somebody keeping somebody here? It's like those little indents in the wall on GM Catacombs, except they weren't dead when they were placed there, apparently. All right, let's crouch back down, and uh, apparently I'm not crouched enough. What is this about? There's like a whole cave system? And a drop with some kind of strange red dirt. And more of these kind of tiny holes, like what we saw in... Like what we saw in the basement of the apartments. It's like there's something crawling around in the walls. That's an axe. And some kind of... What's, what's getting under my feet? It's the bucket. Some kind of air conditioning? Come on. You know I'm just gonna no-clip through. Alright, well you asked for it. Nothing. Nothing? How? What do you mean, nothing? That's an axe, and that's a behead and... I was going to say, that's an axe, and that's a behead and bucket. Complete with some behead and juice, it looks like. There's some fresher behead and juice right there. There is clearly something more going on with this map. Let's see if we can't no-clip ourselves up and out of this trap. There we go. Hello! Was not expecting a dose of horror today. I imagine I'm just going on the good faith that you're not actually going to be something. Can't open it. That's good. That's very, very good. There's another axe, and there's one of the axe man's victims. The question is, where does that go? Where's the body deposit box? You hear that? I... I didn't even know you could enter this building. I was just no-clipping through to get to do the outro. Sound only scares are the worst, especially when they... Especially when it comes to doors. I can hear coughing on my left. Yeah, because that... That is the kind of thing that lets the, ima the imagination run wild, and imagination is always the number one component of horror. Allowing you to think about what does the thing on the other side of that door look like. It'll always be so much scarier than whatever design a model maker can come up with. I'm all out of time for now, but I still feel like I'm missing something. I'm probably going to come back and investigate this map some more in my own time, and I would encourage you to do the same, because I'm really looking forward to hearing from you on, on what I missed, and what you found, and what more is going on with this map, because it took me a long time to even find those sewers. This map does something that I really love, and that's... It, it has these scary Easter eggs that are actually really difficult to find. I mean, to be honest, by the end of this, I still didn't find out how you're actually supposed to get down into that, I guess, serial killer lair. But if you're walking around, 
you could spend a very long time like I did just thinking it's one of those cozy ambient maps. I mean, I walked around for a good long time just feeling comfortable because it reminded me of those days after school towards the end of the winter. I mean, look at this. This is downright cozy. And that, to me, is the melding of creepy and comfy. It's these comfortable environments where you just feel like sitting down and relaxing. You feel like maybe there could be something dangerous out here, but it's not going to get you. I'm going to be I, I'm going to be laying on my bed inside next to the heater with the windows closed. The monster, the serial killer, the ghost can come tap on my window all they want and what do I care? I'm inside. My blinds are down. I can't even see you. Tap all you want. But there's definitely more secrets to this. I, I didn't even figure out how you're supposed to get down into that lair. There's definitely still something going on with those mannequin parts. So, as far as those go, I'm at a loss. But, if you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for even more creepy and comfy content. And as always, I will see you in the next one.